Tom, what's in the truck? Toys. Toys. So our new plasma has arrived after sitting in Fort Smith for like four days. Three or four days, yeah. So he's got to get backed up to where we're at the door because we don't have a forklift. And uh, so I'm going to let the lift gate down, which was like an extra $100 for a lift gate service on the shipping. But we're going to stick it over here in the table. We still got to get the all the electricity and the air and stuff ran over there, but it's going to sit right in that corner. doing Tom playing with these nuts oh can I see those nuts you can see those nuts in those there. are bolts <clears throat> Bolt nuts. Uh, mm, hopefully you can see me DJI still hasn't fixed their software to where I can flip the video while I'm recording but Tom is putting together the plasma um, we don't have any metal to cut. We also don't have the electrical ran yet, so we can't really plug it in and play with it yet. But once we can, we're gonna be cutting stuff like wood, <laughs> plastic, <laughs> plastic. So we gotta get the uh, the torch head mounted. It sits right here, and then we we'll have to go through and calibrate it, everything and make sure it's working. And then the biggest thing is making sure that the uh, the water bed does not leak because this thing pretty much every video you watch is someone putting this together they get it together put water in it and they have at least one or two leaks maybe 10 or 12 depending on who put the thing together but we silicone the crap out of everything i mean the drain plug silicone every single screw has these little rubber washers on the bottom we silicone every single one of those we got the seams I made sure to get the nut and the bolt head on the top side. So I'm hoping we don't have any leaks. Um, we're not too far from having this together. We were here, we were here till about 10:30 last night working on it. So it's uh, it's taken a little while, but we expected it to. And uh, the shop's a little more open. The tracker is ready to go. I need to drive it, but I'm sure it needs a transmission. But it's better than it was. And the fuel pump for the mini is four hundred dollars. Four something. Anyway, the guy, uh, the guy with the mini, really nice guy. I actually got to meet him in Florida. Um, he has a disability to where uh, I can't remember what it's called. Basically, his his calf muscles are kind of just deteriorating, and so he's already got braces all on his legs and stuff. And he's got one of the the arm braces goes on your elbow to kind of help him stabilize himself awesome guy we're gonna have to build a hand clutch for it because before too long he's gonna be in a wheelchair and he's not gonna be able to do much walking so uh the company he ordered the fuel pump from uh they're in california surprise uh they know nothing about it he called and they said what fuel pump we don't know anything about it so i'm not gonna shout their name out but there's some dirt bags and hopefully they see this video um so we've got to figure out some kind of retrofit kit because you can buy this funky fuel pump here on ebay for four it's like four or five hundred dollars it's ridiculous so we're gonna see if we can maybe do like a i don't know a mr mr gasket pump or maybe like a holly black or um some kind of something i don't know but we'll uh we'll see if we can kind of retrofit and get rid of that because that's obnoxious price for a fuel pump but, I mean, other than that, we're just waiting on the fuel pump. We can clean the tank, put everything back together, and the Mini's ready to go. And then we get to see Tom drive it. We're so excited for that. Um, my friend, Fat Man, Fat Man, the link right up here, right here. It's right here now. Click on it. So, Fat Man, his dad has a beautiful, it's actually his mom's car. It's a beautiful 66 Mustang. It's a AOD. It's an old school AOD transmission. Transmission's doing something weird, so we got to get it figured out. Uh, Cadillac, we're probably going to just see if we can grab a 
LQ9 or the LM7 or whatever motor we can get, like a iron block truck motor, whatever, throw off in that, uh, 4064, a lady, whatever makes the thing drive down the road. Because we have to get this thing running and driving, and then it's ready to go. Well, we don't have to, as far as I know, we don't have to fix the glass or anything like that. It just has to run, run and drive. And, and it should break It should run, drive, and be able to stop. And that's, that's it. We're done after that. So Tom's car is on the lift. Uh, we still have to fix the exhaust because it's, it's a little off. We had an issue in Florida where you saw in the video, one of the hangers um, ended up coming loose and there's supposed to be a, a bolt on one side that kind of helps space it because, I don't know, I guess when he welded it, it moved a little bit than he thought it would. Anyway, Tom made a boo-boo. We all, we've all done it. No, nobody's perfect. So the exhaust was a little crooked, so we had to do some fancy stuff to kind of make it work. And so we slipped one side down to get it off the frame rail so it wasn't rattling. Big news. I'm excited about this. So Monday, me and Tom are going to trade my two smart cars that I got. Me and Tom are going Monday. He's nice enough to take his truck and trailer, and we're going to load up my smart cars. They're over at Zach's house right now. And then we're going to trade the smart cars for a something. You guys have to watch and find out. That's the whole point of you guys watching and subscribing. So you know these things. So I'll give you a hint. This is all you're getting. It's a 1962. That's it. That's all you get, which is cool. I'm excited about it because 62 is the same year my mom was born. So I think we're going to kind of build the car and try to orient it around like ALS awareness because that's what killed my mom. So we'll see. I'm, I'm excited to see how the build progresses. It's an all steel car. It's still got the factory motor in it. Uh, it doesn't have a rear axle, so we have to uh, we have to come up probably a Ford 88 or nine inch or something. But I haven't decided if it's going to be a four L80. It might be a manual valve body turbo 350. But I'd like to do a T56 if we can swing it. So 1962. That's all you get. No more hints. So keep watching, subscribe, so you get notified, so you know what the next project's going to be. And once the Cadillac's out, it will be coming to the shop, and we'll be getting started on it. And we'll be able to do custom stuff because we'll have a plasma table now. So, <laughs> oh, also, me and Tom got a little, uh, I, I mean, neither of us really, well, he might have a beer occasionally, but I don't drink. So there was no alcohol involved in these festivities that I'm about to stick in the video right now from last night, but you guys enjoy 100 and we'll be back. No alcohol and What do you got here? A Tyler version 2.5. Two point little wee wee. <laughs> My body is ready. Oh. Ready for what? Woo! Le, 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 le. Mm, mm, mm. Give her the onion. The bottle. Yeah, bottle. Stick her right in the bottle. The bottle, the chocolate you starfish. A bowl of water? Yeah, you want a bowl of water? I want a bowl of water! Bowl of water! Alright, we're, I don't know how many hours into this thing, but this thing's coming together. Many. Yes, Langmire Systems Crossfire XR, and it can cut up to a 4x8 sheet. So, we're getting there, we gotta fill the water bed, and we still have to run all our power and air across the wall and over, because the compressor's over there. So, we're getting the assembly done, and we got it even with the wall this way and the other way so it's sitting where we want it to we got everything silicone bolted together and then tomorrow we get to fill it with water so i'm super excited we're gonna be we're gonna be cutting stuff so if you guys need fire pit or smiley face metal sign or lgbtq plus seven eight nine four five six seven whatever that they're running out of letters honestly but whatever you guys need we're about to be uh Plasma cutting some stuff over here in the in the corner. Me <laughs> so excited. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Damn. I can't get over how big the screen is. Like there's my hand. That thing is huge. 21.6 inches? 21 and a half. I need a phone. That thing's a unit. Wouldn't fit in your pocket. Well it might. That pocket there is infinite. Every time I no, we have a running joke in the shop. Every time I need something, I'm like, hey Tom, where's this bolt? Hey Tom. What'd you do with this washer? It's always in his pocket on his hoodie. So we have jokes about how he has an infinite pocket on his hoodie now. But this thing is powered on. 
Uh, oh, check it out. So this is the indicator that lets us know when it's cutting, when something's wrong, when it's moving, it changes colors. So this is uh, the status, machine status indicator. And uh, we got our uh, chains, our drag chains they're called. I've never messed with these, these are super cool. So all the wires and everything are contained inside of here. It's all zip tied nice and neat. Runs down here and then all the way down to the box. We still have to hook up the uh, height control and the torch trigger and the plasma will be on the other side and the wire will run underneath and we'll tuck it all nice and neat. But I taped this up real good because it was, I just didn't like it. Tom didn't like it either the way it looked. So we cleaned it up a little bit, taped it and went ahead and kind of zip tied to keep it nice and neat down there. So, so far so good. It's, uh, we're still working. It's doing its setup at the moment, but this thing is so cool. So, Tom, what you got to say about it? You excited? I was on the phone. I was on the phone with my grandma earlier, and every time the screen would turn on or something would light up, he'd start dancing over here. He was so excited. So, this is all new to us. It's probably going to take us a month to learn how to use this thing, and we'll be learning for a while, but I'm very excited. This thing gonna be cutting some metal. And we can cut aluminum, so that's exciting. What do you think about cutting some trees, Tom? Huh? <laughs> cutting some trees? Yeah, like some oak wood, <laughs> redwood, <laughs> plastic. <laughs> plastic. This thing is cool. It's gonna be so much fun. This thing, I'm very surprised with how precise it cuts for a plasma. I mean, it does very good we did a uh, this is too thin to be used for an actual lift plate but we did a a lift plate for like a 41 was it 4150 mm -hmm. okay 4150 flange carburetor uh, just bolts on top of the intake and then you slide these in and you would weld on each side to hold it in place so pretty cool and then we played around these are probably too thin to actually be used but these are some test cuts for a uh, fuel pump block off plates on a small block chevy motor so that's pretty neat. Um, I'm I'm shocked. <laughs> nope, there's a turd in the way. How how well this thing cuts. I mean, it's incredible. I was scared to death it was going to be a learning curve, like you wouldn't believe. But it's very easy. Langmeyer makes it. Yeah, it's still going to be a learning curve. But I mean, those the test cuts were just they worked. I'm shocked with how well they worked. We got to get the hang of a uh, thickness and amperage on the plasma because I've never used a plasma before, so I'm not too sure exactly. I know on a welder generally how much amperage for the thickness and the material but plasma is kind of a new ball game for me so it's going to be a lot of learning i'm super excited i'm tired too because this is how we uh filled the tray with water i had to make a few trips with a water jug but the bed filled it's not filled all the way but it's got enough water in it we could cut safely now and it's not dripping there's not a lake underneath it so i'm happy Tom's happy. Tom's so happy. Tom's beyond happy. So <laughs> it's it's I'm gonna be I'm very happy because I know what this thing costs. Yeah, he knows what it costs, so he's I paid it. he's thrilled that it's working the way it's supposed to. So everything's hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and tidy the wiring up and we're gonna set the plasma under the table. We still gotta get all the stuff for all the wires, uh, so they're not just the real strung across the shop. It'll work for now, but I mean we're gonna have to do it permanently to where we have a junction box on the wall over there and it's uh the air comes off the wall we'll build a manifold make it all nice and neat and then we have to get a dryer because you definitely need an air dryer for the plasma so we'll probably run a just like a desiccant from harbor freight for now and then when this thing starts bringing some money in we'll upgrade to one of the uh it's like an hvac cooler dryer basically it's uh it uses refrigerant so it, it cools the air down cool enough that it, it's dry that's the only way i know how to describe it but today well today and yesterday we spent putting this thing together total success i'm beyond excited um definitely going to be tagging langmire in this their instructions i mean if you read them and pay attention they work um very well all everything was there all, all 128 pages yeah all 128 pages of the installation or the assembly manual everything made sense it worked we went through every step and it it just worked like a dream we didn't break anything yet. so yeah yet we didn't break anything yet but yeah it's it's great i'm i'm thrilled tom's thrilled 
we're gonna call a night. It's already past ten o'clock. Uh, we stayed till like ten thirty last night. Yeah, we've been grinding on this thing, trying to get it together, but it paid off. I'm thrilled. We're probably gonna see if we can grab. We're gonna be looking high and low, both of us, for some scrap metal so that we can uh, play around with this thing and learn. Learn, yeah, for sure. But everybody that's come in has said, "Hey, can you make this? Or can you give me a quote? Or this and that?" So you know, half of them probably tire kickers. But we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, do some quoting and hopefully some big jobs and this thing will hopefully pay for itself and we have a six month goal so we're gonna see if we can get this thing paid off six months so Langmire we're gonna be tagging you guys in this very good work yep. amazing product beyond happy with it the screen's super cool and we got this cool little where's the it's in the box oh this thing this thing is so cool so when you pull up your screen and everything um, it connects to Wi-Fi and everything so you can watch videos or whatever you need on the screen and you can type And it's it's wireless. So it has a little USB dongle that communicates with this and so you can Swipe and click and everything you need right here. So it makes it super easy and uh, I'm just I'm excited. I could just pee my britches <laughs> Both our gimbals, our phones were dying and our gimbals were dying. And so we tried to get all the video we could of this thing cutting, but we only got a little bit. But we'll be getting more for sure. We'll make sure that I have my uh, camera and my GoPro and I might even bring my drone in and get an overhead shot just for the hell of it. So you guys keep watching. We're going to be building some cool stuff in the very near future. And hopefully we can finally afford to get some uh, some batteries for our sign so it lights up. <laughs> Oh, the power cord. Yeah, it's a power cord. All right. Oh, you can get the one that's not compatible for laptops. I'll bet yeah, it works. Probably. And then you can plug in your Thor yeah, hammer. And then we need somebody to do all the interior work in there. I'm probably going to be the monkey that does the interior work while he's out here playing with his expensive used car price plasma table. But you guys keep doing what you're doing. Say bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Subscribe. Man, that ain't a long bed. I don't want it.